Hi all, this is Melissa with StitchScene.com and I'm going to demonstrate how to um, crochet the double arch ground pattern stitch that I use for the front of my geometric sweater design. I'm using US terminology as I explain this video, as I do in all my videos, and I have already begun a really short version of, of what it looks like. The foundation chain and row one are relatively simple, and in order to keep this um, complex stitch pattern video short and sweet, um, we'll start with row two, which is the row that um, has been um, causing people the most trouble. And so with row two in the pattern, we begin with a chain one, and we single crochet in the first stitch. The pattern then says, to, to work six single crochets in um, the chain five arc. Each of these is chain five arcs, and we will be working um, six single crochets in each, but you'll notice on the next one that we'll begin to divide that to work the double back. And this is a six single crochet, and then it says we're to single crochet in the next single crochet. Okay, now in the next one, we're gonna, like I said, work six, but we're only gonna work three um, the first, this first part. So we stitch three of them, three single crochet. Now we're gonna work the double the double back. To do this, we chain four as the pattern calls for. One, two, three, four. Then it says to skip um, the previous six single crochet. And so we aren't turning our work. We're not moving in the regular direction. We're going to move from left to right. And so we count back six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we work a single or a slip stitch, sorry, in in that seventh single crochet from the chain four. And what this does is it creates a chain four arc that we are now gonna work five single crochets in in the normal direction of right to left. And then we, we finish that off by working the, the remaining three um, single crochets in that five chain arc from the row below. Okay, we'll go through this again. We single crochet in the next double crochet stitch, and then we work six single crochets in the next chain five arc. I know I'm working rather quickly here, but um, I don't want the, the video to run much longer than six minutes or so. Okay, and we work a single crochet in the next single crochet stitch. And then we're going to work three of the six in the next chain, chain five. And now we work a double back again. So we chain four, two, three, four, and then we count back six single crochet, and we slip stitch in that seventh single crochet to make the chain four arc that we're now going to um, work five single crochets in. And this is a wrong side row. Every even row is a wrong side row in this pattern stitch. And then we finish off um, by working the remaining three in that chain five arc. And then when you get to the end of the row, you would work one in the turning chain. So, So this is what you'll end up with. Obviously, you'll have a longer version for the front of your sweater. But as I said, this is the wrong side. So this would be the, ni um, the nice right side. So it's just a really pretty stitch. Now, row four has some partial um, 
back doubles and so I'm just going to demonstrate those um, or one of them on the edge for you really quickly here. So we're starting at the beginning of row four again a wrong side row and it says to chain one and a single crochet in the first stitch. Now we're going to work three single crochets into this first chain five arc and then the pattern calls for us to turn our work so we're going to turn and work backwards by chaining two we're going to skip the three that we just made and work a double crochet into the first single crochet of that row and then we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work again and now in that chain two arc we're going to single crochet two times and then we're going to finish off this partial arc by working three single crochets in that chain five arc from the row below. And so that is what um, the partial sing the partial arc looks like. Let me just pull this out. And so um, on the wrong side and from the right side it would like look like this. I hope this um, video explains it a bit more for you and that um, if you look at this and also kind of examine the stitch chart um, that's with the pattern, I don't think you'll have a problem figuring it out. Happy stitching!